Hello, this is Janila, the person behind Crafty Crochet Castle. And in this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet these Valentine gnome jar cozies. So here you see a gnome man and a gnome woman, and you can choose any color according to your preference. So these look like normal gnomes. You can set it at any table and use it as a lovely decor, but they have a little secret inside. You can unscrew the cap. And when you take them off, you have a little storage in here. You can use it to store any candies or craft or anything. Don't you think this would make lovely gifts for Valentine's Day? This pattern is intermediate and it's a beginner friendly tutorial and I hope you would crochet this along with me. To crochet the Valentine Gnome Jar Cozies, I'm using worsted weight yarn in six colors. This is acrylic yarn. I'm using gray, pink, yellow, red, white and off-white. I'm also using a 5mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers, some polyfill stuffing. For the mason jar, I'm using a regular mouth, 16 fluid ounce glass mason jar. The other materials are a pet brush and a hot glue gun. Gauge is a very critical factor for this project so that our project fits in the mason jar completely. So make sure 5 rows of 7 half double crochet measures about 2 inches. If you crochet a little tighter, you would probably use a bigger hook. And if you crochet a little bit looser, you would need a smaller hook. Now let us crochet the hat for our gnome. I'm using a red yarn here and we'll be crocheting the hat for the male gnome with red yarn. So to start off, I'll do a magic circle first. To do a magic circle, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my two fingers like this and cross it over at the point where both the yarn meets. Next, I'm going to pinch over here, take my fingers out and insert my hook through the ring over here. Next, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop over here and I'm going to pinch it over here to hold everything in place. Next, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. So this is called as the magic circle or magic ring. This is adjustable. Now let's continue working on round one. I'll do a chain two here. To do a chain, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. So there I've made one chain. I'm going to make one more chain over here. And now I'll be working six half double crochets inside the ring. To do a half double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook inside the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now I'll have three loops on the hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. This stitch is called as the half double crochet and I'll be making five more half double crochet inside the ring. You can also crochet chain two and work your half double crochets on the second chain from the hook if you would like to avoid the magic circle. For the pattern of the hat, we'll be working in rounds and the starting chain in each round does not count as a stitch. After completing six half double crochet, I'm going to pull the tail over here to close the opening. See how the opening has closed and now I'm going to join at the top of the chain two over here with a slip stitch. I'm going to insert my hook in the second chain over here. Next, I'm going to yarn over and bring a loop through the stitch and through the loop on the hook so this stitch is called as the slip stitch so now let's continue working on round two for round two i will do chain two and i will work two half double crochet in the next stitch over here so i'll be working one half double crochet in the stitch and one more half double crochet in the same stitch so on my very next stitch, I will do one half double crochet. So this would be the repeat pattern for the round. The repeat pattern is two half double crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one half double crochet in the next stitch. This round will have a total of nine half double crochet. And to end round two, I'll be joining on top of chain two over here with a slip stitch. So there is round two. Now for round three, I will do chain two. Followed by two half double crochet. Followed by one half double crochet in the next two stitches over here. So this will be the repeat pattern for the round.
repeat pattern as two half double crochet in the next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next two stitches this round will have a total of 12 half double crochet and i'm going to join on top of chain two over here with a slip stitch to finish round three for round four i will do chain two two half double crochet in my next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next three stitches so i'm doing one stitch here the second stitch in the next one and the third one in the third stitch over here so this will be the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is two half double crochet in the next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next three stitches this round will have a total of 15 half double crochet and at the end of this round i'm going to join on top of chain two with a slip stitch so this is how our hat will begin to look now let's work on round five for round five i will do chain two followed by two half double crochet in my next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next four stitches I'll be repeating this pattern for the round the repeat is two half double crochet in my next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next four stitches this round will have a total of 18 stitches And as always, I'm going to end this round with a slip stitch. For round 6, I will start off with chain 2, followed by 2 half double crochet in my next stitch over here. Followed by 1 half double crochet in the next 5 stitches. So there's 1, 2, three four five this will be the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is two half double crochet in my next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next five stitches this round will have a total of 21 half double crochet To end this round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch on top of chain 2 like this. So this is how our hat would look after round 6. For round 7, I'm going to do chain 2, 2 half double crochet in my next stitch over here. Followed by 1 half double crochet in the next 6 stitches. This is going to be the repeat pattern for the round. This round will have a total of 24 half double crochet. I'll meet you after I complete the repeat pattern for the round. At the end of this round, join in top of the chain 2 with a slip stitch. For round 8, I will do chain 2, 2 half double crochet in my next stitch. Followed by 1 half double crochet in the next 7 stitches. This is going to be the repeat pattern for the round. This round will have a total of 27 half double crochet. I 
I'll meet you after I complete this repeat pattern for all the stitches in the round. I'm finishing this round 8 with a slip stitch. Now let's begin working on round 9. For round 9, I will do chain 2 followed by 2 half double crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 half double crochet in the next 8 stitches. This round will have a total of 30 half double crochet and I'll meet you after I complete all the stitches in this round. After completing all the stitches in round 9, I'm going to join on top of chain 2 with a slip stitch. Now let's begin working on round 10. For round 10, I will do chain 2 followed by 2 half double crochet in my next stitch. Followed by one half double crochet in the next nine stitches. This will be the repeat pattern for the round, and this round will have a total of 33 half double crochet. So there I have completed one repeat pattern. I'll meet you after I complete all the stitches in this round. At the end of round 10, I'm going to join on top of chain 2 with a slip stitch over here. Now for the next two rounds, which is round 11 and 12, I'll be following the same pattern. The pattern is chain 2 followed by one half double crochet in every stitch around. Each round will have a total of 33 half double crochet and at the end of each round I'll be joining with a slip stitch on top of chain 2. I'll meet you after I complete 2 rounds. At the end of round 12 our hat looks like this. Now let's work on round 13. For round 13 I will do chain 2. And for this entire round we'll be working on the front loops only normally when we are working a stitch we will insert a hook through both the stitches like this but for this round we'll be inserting a hook through only one of the loop over here ignoring the stitch at the back so this is called as the front loops only so for this round I'll be working on the front loops only on my very first stitch I will do two half double crochet over here followed by one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches this is to be worked on the front loops also So this is going to be the repeat pattern for the round. Two half double crochet worked in the front loop in the next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches worked in the front loop only. I will be repeating this pattern for the remaining stitches in this round and this round will have a total of 36 half double crochet. I'll meet you after I complete all the stitches in the round and after joining in top of chain 2 with a slip stitch. So this is how our hat will be looking at the end of round 13. Now for round 14, I will do chain 2 followed by one half double crochet in every stitch around. This time I'll be working on both the loops as normal. So this round will have a total of 36 half double crochet as well. And at the end of this round, I'll be joining with a slip stitch. I'll meet you after I complete all the stitches in this round. For round 15, I will do chain 1. Chain 1 is not to be counted as a stitch. So now for this round, I will be doing reverse single crochet or crab stitch. To do a reverse single crochet, I'm, I'll be inserting my hook in the stitch on your right hand side. That is, we'll be working in the reverse order. So I'll be inserting my hook in here. 
yarn over and bring a loop and I will yarn over and pull through all two loops on the hook so this is like a single crochet but except we'll be working in the reverse order this will give a unique finish to your hat so I will do a reverse single crochet in every stitch in the round this is how our reverse single crochet will look it will give a beautiful finish to our hat over here so i will meet you after completing reverse single crochet for the remaining stitches in this round so now i have completed reverse single crochet for all the stitches in this round and we have this beautiful finishing over here now i'll be joining in the chain one with a slip stitch to do so i'm gonna turn my work to the other side and i will join with a slip stitch and we can finish off over here To finish it off, I'm going to trim the yarn over here. Next, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook all the way through and tighten this up. We can weave the tail in later. So there we have crocheted a hat for a man gnome. Now let us crochet a hat for a woman gnome. For the woman gnome, I'm using a pink yarn over here and rounds 1 through round 14 are the same. So meet me after you complete rounds 1 to 14. And let's start working on round 15, which will be different for a women gnome. So for round 15, I will do a slip stitch in my next stitch as well. And I will be doing three half double crochet in the next stitch. And I will do a slip stitch in the next stitch. So this is going to be the repeat pattern for the round. The repeat pattern would be a slip stitch in my next stitch. Three half double crochet in the next stitch. Followed by a slip stitch in the next stitch. So by doing so we would have this beautiful finishing to our hat. So this would be more apt for a women gnome. I'll meet you after I complete all the stitches in this round. After completing the repeat pattern for the round, you can finish off over here and we can weave the tail in later. This last round has a total of 12 such shells. Don't you think this looks beautiful? Now let us crochet a small heart applique. This is to be sewn on top of our hat. So I'm going to crochet one in red and one in pink. So first I'm going to start with a magic circle. followed by chain two next I will do two double crochet inside the ring to do a double crochet I'm gonna yarn over insert my hook in the stitch yarn over and bring up a loop I'll have three loops on the hook I'll yarn over bring through two loops I'll have two loops remaining on the hook I'll yarn over and bring through both the loops so this stitch is called as the double crochet I'll be doing one more double crochet in here next I will be doing two half double crochet in the ring followed by chain one a double crochet in the ring followed by chain one two half double crochet followed by two double crochet followed by chain two and a slip stitch inside the ring so now we have finished the heart you can see the beautiful heart design once when you pull the tail and close the magic circle so there we have completed a small heart we can finish off over here leaving a long tail make sure to crochet one in pink as well 
Now let us crochet another heart applique. This is slightly bigger than the other heart. So I'm going to crochet one in red and one in pink as well. First I'm going to start with a magic circle. Next I will do chain 3 and 3 treble crochet inside the ring. To do a treble crochet I'm going to yarn over twice. Insert my hook inside the ring yarn over and bring up a loop we'll have a total of four loops on the hook i'll yarn over and bring through two loops we'll have three loops remaining i'll yarn over pull through two loops we'll have two loops remaining i'll yarn over and pull through both the loops so this stitch is called as the triple crochet or triple crochet i'll be doing two more in here Next, I will do three double crochet in here. Followed by chain one and a triple crochet in here. Followed by chain one, three double crochet inside the ring. And three treble crochet inside the ring. Followed by chain three. And a slip stitch inside the ring. Once again we have finished the heart. All you have to do is pull the tail to close the opening of the magic circle. We can finish off leaving a long tail over here. So there I have crocheted one heart applique. Make sure to crochet one more in pink. Now let us crochet the body which is going to be our jar cozy. So I'm taking a yellow yarn here. This is for a women gnome. I'm going to start off with a magic circle followed by chain 2. And 12 half double crochet inside the ring. For the pattern of the body also we will be crocheting in rounds. And the starting chain in each round is not to be considered as a stitch. Now I'm going to close the opening and join at the top of the chain 2 with a slip stitch. For round 2, I'll do chain 2 followed by 2 half double crochet in every stitch around. So in my next stitch, I will do 2 half double crochet in the same stitch and I will repeat this for all the stitches in the round. This round will have a total of 24 half double crochet.
at the end of round two join the top of chain two with a slip stitch now let's begin working on round three for round three once again i'm going to start with chain two and i will do two half double crochet in the next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next stitch so this is going to be the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is two half double crochet in the next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next stitch i'll repeat this stitch for the entire round and i'll meet you after i complete the last repeat pattern over here this round will have a total of 36 half double crochet at the end of round three join in top of chain two with a slip stitch now let's start working on round four for round four i will do chain two and for this entire round i'll be working only on the back loops over here so normally when we're working a stitch we'll insert our hook through both the stitches over here and work but for this entire round i'll be working only in the back loops over here so i will do one half double crochet in every stitch around This round 4 will also have a total of 36 half double crochets. I'll meet you after I complete all the stitches in the round. At the end of round 4, I'm going to join on top of chain 2 with a slip stitch. Now, for the next 7 rounds, that is from round 5 to round 11, we'll be following the same pattern. The pattern is chain 2 and one half double crochet in every stitch around so this time i'll be working on both the loops so each round will have a total of 36 half double crochet and at the end of each round i'll be joining in top of chain two with a slip stitch so i'll meet you after i complete seven rounds with the same pattern after completing 11 rounds our body looks like this now let's start working on round 12 for round 12 i will do chain 2 followed by a half double crochet together or half double crochet decrease to do so i'm going to yarn over insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over and bring up a loop instead of completing this half double crochet i'm going to yarn over insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over and bring up a loop so here we have worked two stitches at the bottom and we are going to complete it as one stitch so this is called as the half double crochet decrease or half double crochet together so to complete this stitch i'm going to yarn over and bring the yarn through all the loops on the hook so we would have five loops over here so i'm going to yarn over and pull it through all five loops on the hook at once so there we have completed half double crochet decrease so now in the next 10 stitches i'll be working one half double crochet each So this is going to be the repeat pattern for the round. So I will do a half double crochet together. Followed by one half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. This round will have a total of 33 half double crochet. This is my third repeat. Now after completing all the stitches, I'm going to join in top of chain 2 with a slip stitch. Now let's work on round 13. For round 13, I will do chain 2 again and a half double crochet together again next i will do one half double crochet in the next nine stitches
I'll repeat this pattern two more times for this round and I'll meet you after I complete all the stitches in the round. After completing all the stitches in the round, I'm going to join in top of chain 2 with a slip stitch. Now let's work on the last round for the body. This is round 14. For round 14, I will do chain 1 and I will do a reverse single crochet or crab stitch across. So we'll be working one single crochet in the reverse direction in all the stitches in the round. So here I have completed few stitches over here. I'll meet you after I complete reverse single crochet for all the stitches in this round. After completing all the stitches in round 14, I'm going to turn my work, join with a slip stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail. We can weave the tail in later. So there I have completed the body for a gnome. Make sure to crochet one more. I'm using grey color for a man gnome. Now let us crochet the nose. I'm using an off white yarn here. I'll start off with a magic circle followed by six single crochet inside the ring. The pattern of the nose we are working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it. Now let's work on round 2. For round 2 I will do 2 single crochet in my next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern 2 more times for the round. The pattern is 2 single crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next stitch and this round will have a total of nine single crochet you can also use a stitch marker to help you with either the end or beginning of each round now for round three i'll be working two single crochet in my next stitch over here followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches i'll be repeating this pattern two more times for the round This round will have a total of 12 single crochet. For the last round, I will do a single crochet decrease first. To do a single crochet decrease, I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I have two loops on the hook. Instead of completing this stitch, I'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now I have three loops on the hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. So here at the bottom, we have worked up two stitches, but we have completed it as one stitch. This is called as a single crochet decrease or single crochet two together. Now in my next two stitches, I'll be working one single crochet each this is going to be the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is a single crochet two together followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches I'll be repeating this one more time for the round and this round will have a total of nine stitches at the end of the round I'm going to join with a slip stitch in my next stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail. And you can stuff the nose very lightly. Now let us crochet the hands for our gnome. I'm starting off with an off white yarn over here. I'll do a magic circle followed by six single crochet inside the ring. This is my round one. And this round will have a total of six stitches for the pattern of the gnome we'll be working in rounds and i'm not going to join at the end of each round you can use stitch markers to mark either the end or beginning of each round now for round two i will do two single crochet in my next stitch over here followed by one single crochet in my next stitch. So this is going to be the repeat pattern for the round. I'll repeat it two more times. This round will have a total of nine single crochet.
For round 3, I will do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 9 stitches. For round 4, I will do a single crochet decrease first, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. I'll be repeating this pattern two more times for this round. This round will have a total of 6 stitches. Now for the next round which is round 5, I'll be changing my yarn color. So at the last stitch of round 4, I'll be changing my color over here. So instead of completing this single crochet, I'm gonna take my new yarn color, place it and use the new yarn to finish the single crochet over here. This is how I'll be changing my color over here. You can use any method that you would prefer to change your color. Now we can trim off the off white yarn over here. Now we can continue working our hand with the new yarn over here. So for this round which is round 5, I'll be working one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 6 stitches. So now for round 6, I will be increasing over here. So I will do 2 single crochet in my first stitch, followed by 1 single crochet in the next stitch. So this will be the repeat pattern for the round and I will repeat this pattern 2 more times. This round will have a total of 9 stitches. there we have completed six rounds now for the next six rounds that is from round 7 to round 12 I'll be following the same pattern the pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around each round will have a total of nine single crochet so because we are crocheting six rounds simply crochet 54 single crochet over here which will go round and round and I'll meet you after I complete round 12 after completing round 12 our arm looks like this now i'm going to join with a slip stitch in my next stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail we would use this tail to sew the arms onto the body so make sure it is long enough now you can stuff this arm very lightly make sure to stuff this portion a little bit more portion is to be of the skin color and this portion is to be of the body color so here I have the body nose and two arms let's see how to assemble this before we attach a beard or hair piece so first I'm gonna take my nose thread its long tail in a yarn needle position it on the, on the body like this I'm gonna position it between round 10 11 and 12 and I'm gonna sew it up here I have attached the nose the next step is to attach the arms on either side of the body so I'm gonna take my arm thread the long tail in a yarn needle flatten it out make sure to stuff it very lightly and position it in round 12 approximately five stitches away from the nose and then you can sew it up so make sure the tip of the arm is on the fifth stitch In the same manner, attach the other arm as well and weave in the tail. Here I have attached 
both the arms and the nose. Now let's see how to weave in this tail. So to weave in the tail, I'm going to run the needle across the loops in the wrong side. That is the inside of our body over here. First, I'll be running in one direction. Then you turn around and then you can weave it in the other direction. And this time you can grab a totally different set of loops. You can do this a few times. Make sure to grab a different set of loops each time. And once when you've weaved in enough, you can take your needle out, stretch out the piece so that it's not too snug, and then you can trim the tail over here. Make sure to weave in all the loose tails like this. So there I have crocheted one body. This is for a woman more. And I've made one more in this color, and this is for a man gnome. Now let us attach the beard. So here I have the finished body. This body is completely assembled with arms and nose. And I have 24 strands. These are 6 inch strands in white. So we'll be attaching these strands around our nose like this. Almost like a semicircle. So I'm going to split this into, into 8 points. And in each point I'll be attaching 3 strands over here. I would like our beard to be denser. So that's why I'm using 3 strands over here. So first I'm going to take 3 strands of yarn. I will fold it in half. And I'll be attaching this under the nose like a fringe. So make sure the point you select is directly under the nose. So now I'm going to attach it here. So I'm going to insert my hook in this point and I'm going to bring the folded loop through this. Next, I'm going to yarn over all these and pull these through the loop over here. This forms a knot over here and we can tighten up this knot. So this is like attaching a fringe. I'll be attaching three strands of yarn over here around the nose. I'll meet you once when I complete it. So this is how the beard will look after attaching all the strands like fringes around the nose. So I have a total of eight points over here where I've attached the fringes, four on this side of the nose and four on this side of the nose. So now we can use a pet brush to either brush it out you do not have a pet brush you can take a yarn needle and you can separate the yarn if you would prefer it to stay this way you can leave it like this as well this is how the strands will look after separating all the individual strands now take out a pet brush and gently brush it up you see how it's beginning to puff up Gently do so for all the strands. The next step is to trim out the beard. So this is our gnome body. Now let us see how to attach the hair for a women gnome. So here I have the assembled body. In between the nose and the arms we have 5 stitches. I'll be attaching hair in the 2nd, 3rd and 4th stitch from the nose. And I'll be attaching it around round 12. So for the hair I'm taking same white yarn and 24 strands. This time the strands are 8 inches long. So I'll be using the same method to attach each strand and in each point I'll be attaching 4 strands of yarn. So I'm having 4 strands of yarn over here. I fold it in half. I'll insert my hook in the stitch. I'll bring over the folded strands over here. I'll meet you after I attach here hair and two more points over here and then three points on this side so this is how our hair strands will look now once again separate the yarn and then brush it out before we braid it now we can braid this hair At the end, you can take a yellow yarn and tie it. Next, we can trim it off over here.
here is the finished head in one side make sure to finish it in the other side like this now let us assemble our hats so first i'm going to take my woman hat over here take the red big heart applique place it here and sew it up over here using the long tail from the heart next i'm going to take the small heart place it on top of the hat over here and sew it up in the same manner take the ma man gnomes hat and attach pink hearts on the hat you can sew it up and then weave the tails in later so here i have attached the heart to the hat now let us see how to assemble the top portion so i'm going to take the polyfill stuffing and stuff the hat lightly until round 10 that is around up to here so after you have stuffed the hat lightly take the mason jar lid and we can glue it in place so here's a tip make sure to fold your hat like this the ridge over here is to be the guide and then take the lid position it in place and then you can glue off one section at a time this will prevent the glue to be sticking on the fabric so here i have the hat and the body for a male gnome let's see how to do the final step of the assembly so the first step is to take the hat with the cap place it on top of the mason jar and close the lid the next step is to insert the body cozy inside the jar and position it such as the heart is facing the front and you can glue the body cozy on the mason jar in the same way take the women gnome's body another mason jar and the cap insert the mason jar inside the body cozy position it such that the heart is in the front and we can glue the cozy in place i'm going to use a hot glue here so here i have completed the valentine gnome mason jar cozies this is a man gnome and this is a women gnome. I hope you enjoy crocheting this along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.